What was the, how did you f finally come to say, okay, God, not my will, but thine be done like Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane? How, when was that moment, you know, or was there a moment? It, it, there was, but, but you know, it's a matter of changing your perspective. And I know we see that in the world we're living in today, but it really is a matter of, okay, fine, you're going to step out and believe something, then, okay, I'm going to believe it. And I don't have another choice. So it's either I can sit here and do nothing and I can wallow in this or I can put the Lord's word to the test and say, God, you said you're faithful. You yeah. said you would do it. Reading all the stories, you did it for Joseph. You did it for Esther. You did it for Ruth. You did it for all of these other people that I'm reading about in your Bible. You know, all of this, you gave them faith and courage. I mean, come on, Daniel in the lion's den. I mean, he's facing this lion, but how God shut their mouths and God didn't allow them to eat him or say anything to them. Yeah. And it's that moment of changing your perspective to say, you know what, God, I'm going to serve you. I just need just just help me for this 30 minutes. OK, yeah. God, just just keep me for another 30 minutes. OK, God, just 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 a little bit more. Just get me through this day. There's there's wickedness. Like you said, there was perversion. There was it's open. There's no privacy whatsoever everything is out in the open and finding the time if you really want it bad enough you're going to find it if you really want to go shopping bad enough you're gonna find a way to do it if you really want to go to the bar or party or do something you're going to find a way to do those things yeah. but if you really want jesus you're gonna find a way to get it and what's so awesome is that through that whole experience, he's right there. He never left my side. Amazing. He walked through the valley moment with me and he walked through this experience right here. He says, I will hold you by your right hand. Don't be afraid, just be strong. He just kept saying, just be strong, just be courageous. I got you, I'm holding you by my righteous right hand. So I said, okay, God, just 30 minutes. Just 30 more minutes. Just give me to 430. Just give me to dinner time. The moments where were harder is when you're alone in your mind and you have that time to think. Not that it, you, you allow your mind just enough time to say, I love my family and I miss them and they're growing. They're getting bigger and their birthdays. But no, Lord, bless them. God, I thank you for restoring our family. I thank you that your promise is true for me. It's true for them. You, you, you begin to minister to other women in there that are just the same. They are good people. And life has dealt them a bad card. And here they are sitting in here wondering the same things that I'm wondering, saying, how do I do this? What do I do? And that's when you share Jesus and say, you know what? This one lady said, how can you be so joyful? I'm, I'm sitting in here with you and nothing about this place is joyful. How can you have it? And I said, you know what? It's the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And he is the only way that I have gotten through this. He is my peace of mind. He is my strength. He is my full armor of God. Any thought that would try to come my way, you say, no, in the name of Jesus, I'm not going to think that.